for a little uh, change of pace. Today we're going to be uh, field herping on my family's farm, Saratano Farm. Um, we own a good amount of land back here, so chances are good we'll find something. I found a salamander yesterday, I just didn't get it on video. I'll probably go and see if I can find it again. So yeah, stay tuned. So I found a couple salamanders. Not sure what kind they are, because I'm not a salamander expert. And they darted under here. Let me see. There's one. The other one's underneath this rock right here. It's probably a pair. There's more. There's two under here. See if I can... They are pretty though. Once I ID them, I'll pull up a a thing in post production. But yeah, I'm just going to put back their rocks and leave them alone. Good stuff. Just in this little stream that runs along. Probably find more if I wanted to. Let's see here. So yeah, good first find of the trip. It's funny, the rocks you find them on under are the ones you uh, wouldn't necessarily expect. Uh, too wet under there. Let me see here. This one looks somewhat promising. I see a little one. He just darted under there. There he is. <laughs> he won't escape. Uh, there he is. Pretty sure it's the same species as the two I caught earlier. I can't rinse you off, buddy. Very cool. Put you back. Gently put this rock back. Cool. So all of the streams out here, and like even this like runoff pipe in the pond uh, that my grandfather owns, um, they all come from a spring. It's all diverted from a spring, so the water is pristine, perfect habitat for amphibians. Um, I'd like to go to a bigger river and find hellbenders, but I'm not sure I'm going to have time while I'm here. But um, I guess we'll move on to the next spot further down. The road where the road ends and tur basically turns into a rainforest. So yeah, there's another couple. Salamanders are just everywhere. Virginia is somewhat known for them, so I guess it's not totally unexpected, but still really cool. I'm really hoping to find some snakes, but you know we'll see. Some kind of beetle. Oh, I didn't crawl away. I don't know what kind of roach this is. It almost looks like the Turkestans back home, but I don't think they're invasive out here. What's that, a cricket? Interesting. Trying to crush this beetle here. Put it down there and gently. I 
You never know what you'll find just flipping rocks. Maybe go a little further in, and the road ends. Road ends just about there. And it turns into basically a rainforest. You can already see the ferns and stuff. Along with all of the stinging nettle, which is just fantastic. But yeah, we shall continue. Forge on. Found a quite sizable ant nest. Not sure what species these are. They're pretty decent size. At least the individual ants are. Ow. Whew. Trying not to. Is this some kind of grub? No. Old snail shell. Yeah, look at all the eggs and. Scrambling to get them out of harm's way. Try to put this down as gently as I can. Guess we'll try this one next. <sighs> Nothing. Oh well. Put this back. Oh, I guess there's a little millipede right here. I don't know what kind you are, fella. Oh. Put you down right there. Fix this. At least attempt to. Whew. Hogs are heavier than they look. It's gotta work out. Huh. Alright, maybe we'll check this wood pile next. See what's going on with this. We have a wood pile, just a random wood pile. I guess somebody cut down a tree and just never did anything with it. Growing some interesting fungi on here. I don't think it's anything edible or. I don't see any blue bruising. Unfortunate. But I'm gonna take some pieces of wood off of here and we'll see what's under here. So as you can see, um, very rainforest-like here. This is funny, there's this little clearing here. Uh, my uncles camp out here a lot because, I mean, it's relatively close to the farmhouse, but, like, you still get the experience of the woods and stuff. Like, basically the farmhouse is in the woods, but it's just kind of a different experience when you're out here. But it's beautiful and... It's much cooler up here, like, uh, Virginia's been going through a bit of a hot spell, but, um, it cooled down real nice, and especially down here, there's, like, a microclimate. Feels really good. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go further up here, and then flip some stuff. Hmm. This is, um little campsite that uh, my uncles made years ago, maybe even decades ago. And the forest has kind of taken it over, but um, that is a good thing for us. So I'm going to flip pretty much everything here and see what we can find. Of course, I'll put it all back if I find something that is cool. Yeah, let's see here. I believe this is a white spotted slimy salamander. Very cool. Hold on, I'm gonna take a picture of it. But a very cool animal. It's like it lost its a bit of its tail at one point and it's growing it back. Okay buddy, I'll put back your rock so you can go back to living your life. But how cool is that? The first rock we flipped at the campsite. Found a nice, nice salamander. Rock number two. I guess this one's a little heavy. Oh, what is that? You can stick and like... Oh. Some kind of beetle larva? Or maybe a millipede? I'm leaning towards the millipede. Oh. 
It's almost like albino. Interesting. It's just living in this little hole in the dirt. Doesn't seem like a great spot, especially when there's like tons and tons of rotting wood around. Let's see if I can like get out a little more. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm gonna snap a couple pictures. Got my pictures. Try. Flip this back. Nice. Let me see. This mossy one looks promising. Yeah, well, sometimes I'm wrong. Maybe. Let's check this out. The last time we were here, I saw a really nice salamander here. Let's still let's see if he's still living here. Going to maybe prop this up. out you guys beautiful huge slimy spotted salamander absolutely gorgeous you are a big boy and or girl wow gonna snap a couple pictures real quick uh, how cool is that find him in the exact same spot now I gotta fix his Little setup here. Maybe I'll turn this rock real quick while I have him out here. I won't turn the one he's sitting on just because I don't want to disturb him. Nothing in here. Nothing under there. Okay. Right, let's try to do this without squishing him. wasting memory. Alright, I fixed his little bench hide and hopefully he'll be able to stay here for years to come. Check out the next, let's see, maybe under this guy? I don't know if I flipped this one yet. Wow, oh, that's heavier than I thought. Nope. Nothing. Let's see here. Maybe we'll do this one. Oh, I don't see anything immediately under. Oh well. Let me pause. I'm gonna flip some and I'll turn on the camera if I find anything cool. Not sure how clearly it shows up on camera, but these little orb weaver spiders are all over the place around here. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to destroy his handiwork to get through this path, but he and or she will build another one. It'll be okay. But yeah, beautiful web. And nicely done. So here's another one. This one's kind of like triangle shaped. I'm not sure how well it comes out on camera. Um, but she's in the process of building it right now. a couple things in it, it looks like. It's so cool how they do it, it's just second nature to them.
switch to the camera so I can get a still. Hopefully. Just gorgeous out here. Nothing quite like Southwest Virginia. We just came out from the trail over there into this clearing. Probably gonna go up and check out that tree. Probably nothing really worth finding out here in a clearing, but you know, you never know. So glad I came out here because I was like. There's no way I'll find anything interesting here. And check it out. Beautiful timber rattlesnake. Now, where I grew up in Pennsylvania, these are pretty much extirpated. Almost extinct in Pennsylvania. But, what a gorgeous animal. Just catching some morning sun. It's about 10 o'clock and it's been chillier out lately, so he probably needs to take longer to get some sun just amazing look like it's maybe going into shed or coming out of shed can't really tell on the sex maybe it looks like it's probably female but there's probably babies around here too right now is right when they start to drop their litters and, you know, timbers are, you know, their scientific name is Crotalus horridus, but, you know, they are some of the chillest rattlesnakes out there, in my opinion. Um, you really got to piss them off to get them to even rattle a little bit. Um, but she's just hanging out. She might even be gravid right now, possibly. She's a little bit chunky towards her, uh, her midsection there. But absolutely beautiful. This is pretty much exactly what I came here to find. Uh, so, trip already definitely worth it. I mean, I found a lot of salamanders and stuff, which is cool, but this is just the holy grail for me. Um, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to see if I can uh, snap some stills and then I'll come back. It's going to be kind of hard to do this with one hand, but I just kind of want to get her into a clearing a little bit so I can snap a couple of pictures. Maybe we'll move her right here. It's okay, sweetheart. I'll put you right back where I found you when I'm done with you. Yeah, fucking gorgeous. Just can't beat that. Please stay here. Oh wow. A little quicker than I thought you would be. I'll play chase with her for a second. And then hopefully she'll calm down enough for video. Hold on. Just a gorgeous snake. I reckon maybe about three and a half to four feet. So they can get a good amount bigger than this. Um, so maybe she's not gravid, but, uh, oh, there she goes again. They're usually not this fast, but I guess this one defies the rules. Man, I just want to really find a good spot for some stills. Hold on, you guys. Found this rock. It's absolutely perfect. After I put her back very carefully, I'm going to see if I can find some uh, some more. That would be even cooler. I'm lucky enough to find this, so I guess I'm a little bit greedy. But, um, absolutely gorgeous. She hasn't struck once. She's just kind of ran and rattled. They're way more scared of us than we are of them, which a lot of people fail to realize. It's unfortunate. <sighs> Man, just amazing. I'm going to get some stills real quick. She has been wonderful. 
My god. So now I kind of know the habitat they like a little bit. I guess it kind of makes sense that they wouldn't be in the denser stuff that I came out of over there. Um, just because they need the sun. And she's got a perfect little tree here. You know, she can hide under and catch the sun, hits it. Sun's right over there. Hits it right where she was basking. And she's got these rocks out here she can bask on. The thing is, there's cows out here, which usually snakes avoid um, hoofed animals. But, you know. Yep. Looks like someone's having some target practice way down that way. Thankfully, I'm out of sight. and We're just going to hope that I'm lucky here and don't get hit by a stray bullet. <laughs> But, uh, gorgeous, just gorgeous. So I'm going to put her back real quick, and we'll be right back. So I'm putting her right back where I found her. Really want to preserve this species. They are just so gorgeous and so uncommon these days. It really is unfortunate. But yeah, that's her spot, and hopefully I'll come back here one day and find her again, you know? Yeah, so, so, put her right back where I found her, um, this looks to be her spot, and hopefully I can come here someday in the future and find her here again, that would be the hopeful thing. I'm going to look around this tree a little bit more, see if I might find any uh, juveniles or something else. It's funny, I haven't seen like a single copperhead or rat snake since I've been here, but first snake I find is a timber rattlesnake. Might be the only snake I find today, since I don't have that much time, but absolutely stunning. Snake number two. Check it out. Not sure if you're a young rat snake or a corn snake. You look like a corn snake, but I'm going to grab him real quick. Spicy little guy. Cute as hell, though. Focus. Hold on. Finally, had to reset the camera to get it to focus. Beautiful. I also saw something that might have resembled a snake in right here, but you know what? I see. Are you a snake? Well, yes, you are. Oh. So. We got a corn snake, a rat snake of some kind, and then also this little ring, ring neck. Choice, dude. Absolutely choice. Amazing finds all around. Put down Mr. Corn Snake for a minute. And you know what? I'll let him go down there. Screw it. We'll, we'll take a look at the rat snake. Or the ring neck. I am just ecstatic about this. Great finds. And it's only like 10 o'clock. And I have until I think like 2. Put this back. See if I can't. Now that I know there's rattlesnakes around here, I'm much more careful about lifting branches with my hands. Cicada exoskeleton right here. The cicadas have pretty much all died out at this point. Laid their eggs, done their thing, and you know, 
but yeah. And what was that? That's like a vine. Let's figure out what you can and can't lift around here. But uh, look, ah, just amazing. Couldn't have asked for more. Well, I could have, but I would be very selfish. And um, we'll see about on our way back. You know, who knows? Maybe we'll see more stuff now that's starting to warm up. So those guys are the timber basking. I wonder if she's still there. Yeah, she's still basking in more or less the same position. Fucking good for her. Oh, it's okay. I'm not here to bug you. I won't pick you up again, I promise. Amazing. I'm gonna get a still like this, because this is a great shot. Yeah, Rindex, very important for the ecosystem. Eating snails and slugs and baby f amphibians and such. Awesome. And Mr. Corn Snake, he went in the cracks and crevices here. But I got some good shots of him, so I'm happy. I am just ecstatic. Another one of those weaver spiders repairing its nest. I think I might have blown through here. This might be partially my fault. But, uh, yeah, this looks to be a different species from the other one. I'm going to see if I can look these up in post, but no guarantees. There's uh, a lot more um, introduced spiders in Virginia than I first thought. This one might be one of those, but we'll see. Well, it, has, it almost has like eyes on the back of it. Found an old uh, paper wasp nest. Looks like it's pretty abandoned. Probably a few years old, but... Oh wait, no. Check it out. Wow. Guess not. Might have just had a rough time this year because of all the rain and stuff. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. I'm going to leave this alone before I maybe get stung. The moss and lichen in this area is just beautiful. There's some other stuff near uh, by the house I'll show you in a little bit that is just gorgeous. Great for the animals and microfauna around here. Um, these large piles of rocks were probably driven in here by, you know, horse and buggy. Probably more than a couple hundred years ago build bridges or roads and it just never got done or yeah look amazing out here why don't we flip this see if there might be anything under here I need to use the hook ants typical jack squat oh like a centipede I know, some kind of larva. Can't zoom in. Yeah, it looks like some kind of beetle larva. I found lots of glowworms last night. I would video them, but we're probably going to be heading out of here before it turns dark. Should have done it last night, but, you know, oh well. Alright, on to the next, I think I'm going to go back to a stream and look for more salamanders. Well, 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 what do we have here? Fucking sizable grub. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I know somebody wanted me to collect some beetles from out here, but I don't know even know what this is. And I don't plan on taking anything back home with me, so I'm just going to leave him right there. See if there's anything else in here. Interesting looking fungi growing around in here. Cool. On, continue walking back to the stream. So this is the lichen and moss I was talking about earlier. 
that grows right next to the farm. It's gorgeous. It's all along this hillside. Lots of different mosses. This light stuff, that's lichen. The green stuff is moss. But, yeah. I'll just show you that real quick. Good shit. Bunch of pill bugs. Nasetum are the primary ones, but we also have vulgare and acellus here. But mostly nasetum. We even have the peach colored ones in here. Killer caterpillar. Gotta look up one kind. I'm not good with caterpillars either. You call me the bug guy, but there's a lot of bugs I'm not good with. Centipede. Nice one, too. Oh, shit. Fuck. Sorry, isopods. These are slugs of some kind. Just not sure. I'll look them up later. They almost look like our banana slugs, but, you know, not nearly as big and quite yellow color. They were kind of a creamy color. Interesting. Put this right back and put this right back. Not squish the caterpillar. More slugs and isopods. Cool. Back of the stream. First rock flipped. And bam. Got this little guy. Not sure what he is, because as I mentioned earlier, I am not an expert on amphibians by any means. But he is gorgeous. He or she. Just gonna keep flipping rocks, basically. See how many different kinds I can find. I think I found at least two species, maybe three species today. But I gotta go on iNaturalist later today and or tonight and kinda try and confirm what I have and haven't found. Seems they don't like it when the water is super duper deep. Gotta find them. They're kind of raised up just above the water line. Not this one. Hear that? I guess that's just the water running over the rocks. It makes a weird noise. Let's see. This rock looks somewhat promising. Oh, yep. Oh, this is a crayfish. Please don't pinch me. But yeah, they're all over in the streams around here. Uh, much bigger than this, too. Uh, we have a few different kinds. Not like Alabama or something like that, but... We have our fair share. Trying to squish them. That's the thing with putting back these rocks. It's hard to... Too compact. Let's see. I'll cut out until I find something else. Hold on, guys. Found another one. Oh, 
Okay, climb under the rock. That works for me. Nice. Yeah. I think we're going to call it a day after that. I'm wet and tired and hungry. I woke up at the crack of dawn to come out here. But it was totally worth, not just for the little guy here, but for all the stuff I found today. Um, but yeah, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, I definitely want to do more stuff like this if you guys enjoy what, seeing, you know, stuff in the wild. Um, not too much bug focus in this one. Um, I was mainly looking for reptiles because, you know, I'm into them too, but, uh, yeah, I'll take a look more, you know, maybe next time I'll open up some more, like, uh, some rotting wood, see if I can find some beetles and grubs and stuff. Um, but that stuff is more for the spring. Maybe I'll come back in spring right now. I mean, it's September. And, uh, things are starting to cool down a little bit, and, uh, a lot of insects and stuff have already completed their life cycle. So, uh, not the best time to find bugs, but... Oh, look at that. Another one. Like fucking DJ Khaled out here. Another one. Another one. Anyways. Yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, have a good one, you guys. Enjoy what's left of your summer if you still have it. Stay safe. Stay sane. And yeah, later.